everyone, Jackie here with Enjoying Life's Journey. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be showing you our cash envelope system. So if you're not familiar with the channel, we do follow Dave Ramsey's zero-based budgeting. And he recommends that you use cash for certain types of purchases. Pretty much things that don't need to come out of your account directly or you don't need to write a check for certain bills. Um, groceries, clothes, gas money, things oh. like like that. So basically whatever you think in your house that you would only need to use cash for. And the purpose of the cash envelope is so you can take the money out each paycheck and divide it up into your categories and then only take your cash to the store with you. So, so it really helps you to stay on budget. For example, if you went to the grocery store and you said I only have $75 to spend and you only bring $75, it really helps you to stay on track. So I'm just going to show you our cash envelope system here. I just bought one of these little folder things at Office Max. It's got a little pocket on the back here. And then it's just a bigger pocket in the middle. And then I actually had construction paper, so I went ahead and just made my own tabs in here. And as you can see, this gets quite a bit of wear, so I'll probably be making some new tabs eventually. But for now, the categories we have are our household, vehicles, kids, and fun. So basically what we'd consider household, that would be any personal care items, as well as household items like cleaning, toilet paper, shampoo, clothing, things like that. Vehicles, basically gas or any maintenance oil changes that we can somewhat budget an amount for. And then our kids, basically diapers right now is what we have or if they have, we have specific budgeted for chore money, you know, basically our commission jobs that would go in there. And then fun, uh, our fun category, eating out, things like that. And then how I kind of keep track within the cash envelope system here. So as you see, we got our cash here. So again, like I said, there's different areas. So we have our food, we have personal and household is basically what's in our home category. And so I just keep track um, throughout the month of how much is still in there for each category. In addition, if you've seen, I have my budget spreadsheet and I keep track of what's in there on the budget. Every week I, I go through the budget, so I keep track of that as well. And then any receipts that we have, I keep in the back here. So then I can go through, and if I did have a trip where I had a, miss, a mismatch of items, um, for instance, this shopping trip, we had items that were considered household or car maintenance, diapers, and then groceries. So I can always kind of go through and itemize that out in my budget later if I need to, so I keep receipts here. As well, I enter in our Walmart receipts in the Walmart saver catcher. So I, well, I think we've gotten $8 back so far. <laughs> But anyway, so that's our cash envelope system. It's pretty easy, uh, self-made. You know, again, we just have the different categories and we just use a sticky note to keep track of what's left in each category. Dave Ramsey has cash envelope systems on his website and they're more like a wallet. Uh, the thing I don't like about those uh, is I don't wanna have all of my cash with me all the time. I think, yeah, to have some cash on hand is, is a good idea. However, I recommend planning your shopping trips, planning, you know, you know when you need to get gas. So I keep, you know, I keep this at home. I only bring the cash I need, those particular errands I have that day. That way I'm not carrying a bunch of cash around. So I recommend doing that as well. If you have any questions about our cash envelope system, please leave them in the comments below. As well, I'd love to hear from you guys and find out what type of cash envelope system are you using. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.